Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. Today we're talking about the best news to come to ServiceNow store since, well, the store. I'm not even sure if it's new, but it definitely hasn't been visible. The ServiceNow store can now deploy apps to personal dev instances. This is game changing for a few reasons. First, and at the minimum, it will let developers of store apps have a wider range of experiments. Partner program instances tend to be used sparingly, and you can be a lot less careful with a PDI. I myself have put vivid charts on my own personal developer instance because my demo data is substantially better than the vendor instances. Second, this will help consultants help customers assess and deploy store apps. Partners will no longer need to figure apps out on the fly or arrange trials on customers' behalf on their own highly demanded instances. This should open up a whole new paradigm of tech and services partners collaborating to the ultimate good of the customers and the ServiceNow application ecosystem. Now let's talk about how this is done because it's different from the normal trial request system on the store. Dev instance access needs to be pushed from the store vendor, so you'll have to get in touch with them. Send them this video at this timestamp to show them how to do it. Your vendor will log into their store publisher portal at tpp.servicenow.com. Under the distribute tab, they'll click the sales and customers section. A new addition to this sales and customers section is the dev instance entitlement link. Once at the dev instance entitlement section, you'll see a new button called create new entitlement. A new entitlement needs the application scope, application version, and the instance name of the instance you want to provision to. This is where you'll put in the dev instance prefix. Once you complete, that instance will be able to install your app via the standard plugin interface accessed from within that instance. I do have one suggestion though. If you're a tech partner giving trials to private dev instances, be sure to keep an external log of the who and the why for each instance. With no short descriptions, it's impossible to tell who the instance belongs to or why the provision was given. Hopefully the store team sees this and makes that small change. This is great news for everyone, and I hope this brings some well-deserved visibility to the applications pioneering the ServiceNow store. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to sponsor this channel's content, contact me via the email address pictured here. If you'd like to contribute to high quality, high frequency content, consider a donation. If not, I still appreciate your viewership. Consider hitting the like button and sharing with your network. See the description for relevant links. Thanks for watching.